oh, hey, we have two things today. Um, inside of this one to the left is Comfrey. I'll be working with her um, probably in a couple days. Um, and this one is um, Red Clover. And I'm not going to be working. This is um, for my wife, but it does a lot of things that we'll talk about later as well. So what we're doing now is just making some nourishing infusions. And we have about, I think this is a pint-sized jar. Isn't it only pint-sized? Uh, yeah. These here, these mason quartz. jars? Quartz. A quart-sized jar. Um, you put them about not even half for the dried. If you're using, depending upon the type of herb you use, you could go halfway or all the way up to the top if it were fresh. But we're in the winter season. We definitely are not going to find comfrey um, fresh right now. Um, I trust the source of this comfrey. Otherwise, I would not actually use her as a plant ally when she's dried because she can leach heavy metals out of the soils um so you want to make sure that you get her from a trusted source like not off that side of a highway somewhere so red clover so many powerful effects but the reason why i'm working with comfy right now is because she actually has a powerful benefit on the cartilage and the rebuilding of bones particularly like the supportive bones all right and what I do with comfrey for a nourishing infusion, this is whether it's dried or not. Can I get a butter knife? I'm so sorry. Can I? Thank you. Um, I pour this up to about up here on the mason jar, and then I just kind of stir with a butter knife. Um, that way you keep most of your plant material in here. Doesn't she look yummy? Right, just a nice little stir. Did I hear a sarcastic mm, in the background? Um, no, I didn't. Okay, um, <laughs> and then I'm going to fill her up to the tippy tippy top here because I don't want any oxidation. Right, and then she's gonna look like that. If it were fresh, it would even be more green, but we can't find fresh until I'd say the end of spring around here where I forage. And let's see. I might have to boil some more water for this this one, this red clover, but we'll see. Yeah, we almost got it. Not quite. There we go. Yeah, the red clover is amazing. But comfrey is what I'm going to be working with here in a couple of days once this infusion sets out and really gets a chance to get its properties going. Um she actually, like I said, can rebuild bones, the supportive bones, like your lower back. And um, she can rebuild um, teeth if you're having bone loss in your jaw, um, in your teeth, which I am having a little right now. So this is for dual benefit for some bone loss I'm having in my teeth, as well as um, some rebuilding of some cartilage in a slip disc in my lower back. Doesn't she look amazing? And then I'm just gonna label it. I'm gonna put the date that I've made it, right? And then I'm gonna keep her out until she cools down, right? And then I'm gonna put her in the fridge for up to three days. She'll be ready though in 12 hours. That's how long I'm gonna typically let comfrey sit there and that would be dried or fresh. We'll be talking a lot more about my journey from the plant medicine perspective once I begin to consume her here in a couple days. Um, but I have a couple of days that I'm still working with goldenrod. So, and I've got to fill that one up to the top and close that here in a minute. See you guys soon. Bye.